Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be doing the last little, uh, whatever those are called, boxes. And my cat is in the room. She's being very loud and annoying. So this is just miscellaneous stuff. There's a lot of different things in here. So we're going to go through one by one and we'll see what we can pull out. So this first, first, excuse me, <laughs> first thing I have is the Shimmer Fizz Body Lotion in the scent Twisted Peppermint, which is a very, very cool um, peppermint smell, and if, most people on it, anyway, they know that. It comes out in like a mousse, and it crackles, it feels really good, and it just turns into a very nice cream. It feels like a cream <laughs> when you're done with it. Uh, it's a nice can, you can hear that. Um, yeah, I really like this, and I'll read the notes onto the back. Um, cool peppermint, sugared snow, vanilla buttercream, and fresh balsam. And this is, of course, one of my favorite scents. The next thing I'm going to pull out is this Rain Kissed Leaves Shower Gel. Now, as some of you might know, I can't really use shower gel because I have an allergy to it. Not shower gel, but fragrances. So, but I have this because I can use some of it in the winter. The... Notes are lush green leaves, crisp watercress, and delicate petals. This is a very, very fresh scent. I love the shade of blue. It's one of my favorites. So this is a great scent for year-round, especially this is a really great um, summery, showery scent. So yeah. The next thing I'm going to pull out here is this Mary Berry Christmas Shower Gel. And I haven't used this yet, but my boyfriend at the time had gotten it for me on eBay. I can smell that. Ah, oh, yes, it's just as I suspected. <laughs> um, frosted raspberries, holly berries, pink prosecco, jasmine wreath, and crystal. Oh my god, I almost said crystal meth. I'm so sorry. Crystal musk. Um, so yeah, a really great holiday scent. But I feel like since it's got so many berries, and it would make a great spring or summer scent as well. The next thing I have here is Stress Relief Eucalyptus Tea. This is a really great bubble bath is what I use it for. Um, it doesn't really hurt my skin as much as the other ones. It's also a body wash, and this is not opened as you can see, so uh, I don't know what it smells like. I do, however, have the lotion, so I do know what it smells like, but I'm sure most of you already do know, so yeah. Let's get all three of those out of the way. Oh, I only have two. Okay, <laughs> this one is Lavender Vanilla Body Wash and Foam bat Bath. <laughs> Haven't opened up this one yet, but I do know how it smells because I do have the lotion. A great scent all year round. This right here, oh my, sorry, I like lost my grip. Um, This is the Pretty as a Peach Aloe Lotion. I've used this actually a lot. You're supposed to put it in the fridge, I think, if I remember correctly, and it just feels really nice and it's like very cool on your hands. Very great for the summer. Um, after the shower, I'm uh, going to go for like getting back for a run. Let's see on the back. Keynotes, blushing peach, jasmine petals, white nectarine, apple blossom, and sheer freesia. And a lot of you already know what this smells like, so I'm not really going to explain it. But yeah, this aqua cool is very nice. I hope to get more at the outlet, because I know they always have them. Let me just start getting on my little flowers. Okay, so I believe this one is A Thousand Wishes. Most of you already know what that smells like, so I'm not even going to talk about it. This here is Mango Mai Tai, and I bought this months ago, so I don't remember what it smells like. So I can't really explain it to you. Um, it has the fragrance notes right here, though. Let me let it focus. Come on. Come on. Okay, fresh mango nectar, exotic jasmine, and sun-kissed grapefruit. So, like I said, I don't remember what this smells like, but we're going to find out. It's probably going to be the next one I put in my wallflower. This one, I don't remember the smell, because I don't even remember which one it is. Just, I guess I'll find out eventually. <laughs> This one is Waikiki Beach Coconut, and hopefully this won't smell like pineapple like the body cream does. But I'll let you guys look at the keynotes. As soon as it decides to... Okay, it's semi-focusing. Tropical white coconut, saltwater breezes, and sun-bleached woods. I'm telling you, it smells just like pineapple. 
I refuse to believe it. Then this one is lavender vanilla. This is my, this is the first one I got when I first got my wallflower. It's a great spring scent. This makes me think of Mother's Day. I used to pick, I used to pick lilacs for Mother's Day. Excuse me, not lavender, but you get the idea. All right, this next thing I have here is the Vanilla Bean Noel um, Whipped Shimmer Body Cream. This thing is so weird. I don't use it. I've used it a couple times. It is so glittery. Let's just take off the top and show you. It looks like one of those like whipped cream containers, but it's like body cream. It smells great, of course, but you only need a little and a lot comes out. So, and everybody knows what Vanilla Bean Noel smells like. And speaking of Vanilla Bean Noel, here's the Shimmer Fizz. So the notes read fresh vanilla bean, warm caramel, whipped cream, and snow-kissed musk. I'm going to go into depth with that because I happen to do that quite often. Alright, the last things I have are a bunch of body butters. So this is the first one, and this is Beautiful Day. And I don't... maybe it does have the key notes on the back. Nope, it doesn't. But this is a very good apple-y scent, like green apple. It's a very good spring or summer scent, early fall, you know. And these things are so soft. Like, if I could just open it and show you, I totally wouldn't. It just looked like something you would eat. <laughs> so, the next one I have is this here, Love and Sunshine. I scratched up on there. Um, this is a great soft lemony scent, which would be amazing for summer, which is what I use it for. Yeah, there's no on the back. I'm going to open it and show you guys what it looks like. So, it looks like this. Looks good enough to eat. <laughs> I would think, anyway. This next one here is Wild Berry and Chamomile. I love this one. It feels really good. It feels different than the others. I can't open it, but I love the shade of purple or blue, whatever it might look like. But it's so nice. It's so much different than the other body butters that I have. And this cute little packaging, I really like this. It, it would be good for any season. Um, this here is the cloud butter one, and these ones are a little bit smaller, but they're rounder, or they look more flat. So, this has the most cute little adorable cloud on it. Love it. And I have explained in one of my previous videos how this electric blue sky smells. It smells a little bitter. It's very, very floral. I don't think the notes are on the back. Oh, they might be. Okay white birch, blue sage, and winter sky. So you definitely smell all of those things. It's very prominent in here. And unfortunately I cannot open it. Oh, look, a little spider. Hey, excuse me. I'm filming a video. The next one I have is the Stress Relief Eucalyptus Spearmint Body Butter. Now this one I feel... Give me a moment. This one I feel looks more like a lotion and it feels a lot more like a lotion you can tell it's a lot less um fluffy you can see the shadow sorry about that but you can just you can just tell it doesn't feel the same as my other ones it's definitely not as soft of course the scent i just opened it and got a huge whiff of it is very very strong so this next one i have is sea island cotton and this is a great, one of those other super soft ones, this is a great after shower scent or a spring scent. It smells amazing, it smells so clean. I absolutely adore this one, and I've used it quite a bit as well, but of course I can't open it, I don't know why I even tried. And that just like, almost pastel blue is absolutely gorgeous, I love it. we got two more left to go, so this next one is Amber and Argan body butter and I feel like this one looks the most like um, food like frosting let's look at it I seriously just want to eat that sometimes it's a very very soft scent it's not like fragrancy but it still smells like something like you could wear it it's very office appropriate this, the whole line of scents like this would be amazing. I don't know if there's notes on the back. There, you guys can read that. If it decides it wants to focus. Yeah, there you go. Okay. 
so it just smells really good there's not it's not heavy and it's the softest one that i've got and then we have my favorite body butter which happens to be the last one which is the it's the balm marshmallow magic i love marshmallow magic so much it is so good and i think this packaging is really cute and i love this blue on the bottom let's see if there's any notes to read vanilla cream crisp lavender and marshmallow musk this is a must have i absolutely love this one so that is all i keep in this bin and i don't know what to do for future videos you guys so if there's anything that you want to see just let me know see you guys later